Hello, good morning. Hey, Tony here. I wanted to put a video up because some folks are asking for more information on Old Dominion. So, uh, you know, I haven't dropped any videos since the first one and it's what, August 8th right now. And the reason being is because lots, if not all the content that I had or have, I, I really need to go through if I want to put it up because I'm just rambling. You know, I was going through the process of doing stuff and there's probably a lot of negativity in there because I was learning the process of Estes. It's actually Estes, people call it Estes. There'd be two E's, so there's one E, it's Estes. So uh, I haven't put anything up because I just, I didn't want to give a bad impression or anything about Estes. Every trucking company, every business, every place you work with has its ups and its downs. So I'm probably just gonna start fresh. I'm just after my 90 days, I started here April 26th and it's now August 8th. And I need to get some updates because I broke my index finger on July 7th, so. But Old Dominion, I wanna give a, a little information on the hiring process I went through so you know what to expect. So I didn't have any experience in trucking. I worked in information technology for close to 20 something years, right? And I just wanted a career change. I was burnt out, I was tired of the uh, the corporate ladder. And I happened to be outside talking to a neighbor and he was talking to another neighbor and that neighbor said something about, uh, you know, a combo driver and that kind of piqued my interest. I just got to work. I'm on light duty because of my finger. So uh, I can't drive or anything. So I'm the janitor for another four days. Uh, so the the uh, do, uh, the combo driver piqued my interest. So I went out and I applied to Old Dominion. I didn't think Old Dominion was gonna call me. I don't have any experience driving tractor trailers, but uh, I have ran heavy equipment and stuff. I don't know if that had any bearing on it or if they just really needed drivers then. It was in 2018. So, uh, you know, I got the call to come in and interview and I did. And I went and I met Kelly and uh, Kelly Craddock, great, great terminal manager there. And she just asked me some questions and I gave her answers, you know, why do you want to be a trucker? Career change, da da da, okay. Got hired. Had to go through a background check and, you know, they called me and asked me about a speeding ticket I had. You know, I was upfront about the speeding ticket. It was on our way to Niagara Falls. So that's one thing I'd say is don't lie on your application about anything. Just tell the truth, be truthful. Cause you don't want something to come bite you in the butt right when you're ready to start going on the road. Um, so, you know, I got the call that, yep, I can come in and I can do yard work. And I did, I went and I worked with a guy by the name of Smokey. I drove the tractor around a yard, never drove a tractor trailer very far in my life. I did back trailers in a long time ago when I was running heavy equipment. They are a lot different than they are today uh, as an older cab. Uh, so you go just through the fundamentals of trucking uh, with Smokey. I think that was like a week we did that. And then the next week we went and did classroom training. You know, you get your books and all that stuff, sit in the class, go through orientation basically. If you're a trucker now, you know the deal. Uh, after that week, you uh, you start working on getting your permit. If you're not a licensed driver, uh, you work on getting your endorsements while you're going through this process, that's on you. You know, you do that on your off time, man. Uh, you know, you're, they give you time in between on the training to go and do this stuff. You might have a couple days off between uh, the classroom training and stuff. And I actually think I did my my training with Smokey and then I had a couple days off. I went and did my endorsements. Uh, I had to get my hazmat. I had to go get fingerprinted and get the background check. Uh, you pay for that, but OD reimburses you for the first time on that, which is really cool. I think it was like 75 bucks or something I got back. Um, so I went through all that process and got my endorsements. And then I went to work city and city can be different types of things. Like the guy I ran with, he 
ran between two locations less than a mile apart from each other, just carrying paper back and forth from uh, National Cash Register. Those are the ones that do the paper, this stuff here, paper receipts. And uh, you just do rolls of paper back and forth. And there's a lot of drop and hook. Some guys went out and they did city work, you know, 48s and stuff like that. And, um, and delivered to customers and picked up. I got fortunate I didn't have to do that. So uh, after that, then you go out and you do line haul. And I did line haul with a guy by the name of Wes. And we drove uh, from Morristown to, I want to say, Roanoke, Withville area. And that was on Monday through Friday. as a Monday through Friday driver, 2 p.m. till the latest was like 2 a.m. Um, and that was five days a week. You know, I did that. And then I went and I did uh, more yard time to refresh myself for all my inspection levels when I went for my DOT uh, tests. And um, the person did my testing was Mike Woody. He's a uh, terminal safety manager there and he's certified to give you your test. So you're either gonna go to the state or you're gonna you go to Woody. So, um, and after you go through Woody and you pass, they can call you up anytime to go re retest it within a certain period of time uh, with the state. Just, you know, to make sure that Woody's doing what he's supposed to be doing. I didn't have to go through that, thank goodness. So I probably would have failed. No, I'm just kidding. Woody, you're a good trainer, if you get to see this. Um, after that, uh, you know, your stuff goes into the safety department and then uh, safety says, okay, you're good to go. Um, so it was like a three month process, 90 days. So I, I was hired uh, May 25th of 2018. I went through the entire process. My first solo run was October 31st. And the reason the reason for that is um, I had a speeding ticket in New York that we forgot about. So through this whole process, everything was fine. Well, New York suspended my driver's license in Pennsylvania while I was going through this process. So I got my endorsements, my background check, my permit, you know, all that stuff for CDL. When I went to go convert it to uh, my my license over to a CDL, they're like, oh, well, you have a license suspended in Pennsylvania. What? So I couldn't do it. So it, it made me wait a little bit longer. I think it was like two additional weeks because the court in New York didn't use anything technologically. So I couldn't just like pay over the phone or anything. I had to send a money order to them FedEx and the lady only worked like Wednesday and Saturday so I was at her mercy and then once she got it you know she had to release me in New York and then New York had to send the paperwork to Pennsylvania and then I went down and I converted so it was like a two-week process it was so yeah, it was nuts so that's why I say make sure all your ducks are in a row but we, we honestly forgot about the ticket it wasn't much it was 65 and a 55 or something like that and uh you know that's when I lived in Pennsylvania. We went to Niagara. Then we moved to Tennessee. And yeah, so, but uh, I'm pushing 10 minutes on this. So let me wrap it up. So just be honest with everything. You know, talk to your recruiter. Maybe not the recruiter because they're not going to know. Um, you know, talk to the terminal manager if you have any questions or concerns about your driving history. Talk to HR. HR is probably going to be like, well, I don't know. We're just going to have to go through this process. So the background check people, they contact you, just be totally honest. And I'm saying this because there's people out there on the road right now that don't need to be on the road, that slip through the cracks. Old Dominion's not one of those companies, man. They don't just hire anybody, I'm telling you right now. Um, you can go to Old Dominion and get turned away today, and you can go down the road and get a job at Estes. And I'm not saying Estes is a bad company, but Estes is a little more lenient. They're a privately owned company. Old Dominion is beholden to shareholders the shareholders and estes are family so s is one of those you know they give you a second chance type of not a second chance company <laughs> don't take me wrong because there are second chance companies out there that you don't want to go work at making 32 cents a mile 25 cents a mile s is you come here 
you know, you're gonna start out at 68 and a half cents a mile at this point in time, August 8th, and you're gonna get 80 hours vacation out the bat. I'll get into that later. So Old Dominion, great company to work for. Uh, really good process, hiring in and stuff. I'm gonna make another video and go over the teaming aspect of it with Old Dominion and what I did over the three years that I was there, okay? Talk to you in a bit. I gotta go to work. See ya.